Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss climbing a staircase problem. This is one of the big food challenge. So the problem statement is you are climbing a staircase. It takes n step to reach the top. So each time you can either climb one or two steps. So in how many distinct way can you climb to the top? So this is what your problem. So for example, they have given step. If suppose the step is two, then output will be the two, right? Because the, you know you can climb the steps one step and one step then you can climb two steps so this two way you can able to climb the step if you are having a two steps so that is what in output is a two the same way if you are giving a if the steps is a three steps right then you have a, you know there are three ways to climb to the top of the steps i mean the three steps so how many ways in here you can they have given like you know one step and one step and one step and they can we can go to the one step and two step then two step and one step, right? Actually, we have to understand here, we can climb the steps, you know, either way, like, you know, one step or two step, right? So now let us understand this problem for algorithm first, then we can start writing our code. So for example, if suppose if we are having a, if they are giving a two steps, right? Then how many ways they have say one plus, you know, one we can go and you can see uh, one plus, so two, right? One plus one and two steps you can go, right? The two way we can able to climb. So if you are having a three steps, right? If you are having a three steps, then how many ways we can able to climb? So that is also they have given three ways, right? So three ways mean for a like, for say like for example one plus one plus one, right? Three. If this is the way we can able to, and another way is one plus two, right? And another way is two plus one. This is what they have given. Like, you know, if you are having a three steps. So now this is a how many ways we can go three ways. If suppose if you are having a four steps, right? Suppose if you are having a four steps, let us understand this, right? First, we have to see if, it, if you are having a four steps, then we can go and climb one step plus, plus one, right? This is the first way. Then what is the second way? Second way you can go one plus two plus one right this is the second way you can able to and the third way is two plus one plus one right this is the third way you can able to and one plus one plus two right this is the fourth way you can able to and what is the fifth way maybe you can go two plus two right this is the way you can able to see if you go to you are having a four steps right then you can able to climb you know different ways the five ways you can able to climb Right, five way you can able to climb. So now we need to identify the optimized way, right? So the formula for to achieve this is, so the number of ways to reach the steps, if you see here, the two steps, right? And we have only two. If you are coming into that, see if you are having a one step, right? This is the, that is only one way, right? Only one way you can able to climb. If you are having a one step, if you are having a two step, then you can able to climb two way. Three steps means three way. So now here we need to understand this path, right? So here, if you see, if you are coming into the three steps, right? We are having a three steps. We need to go n minus one plus one, right? You know, this is the sum of the way to reach the n minus one and the n minus two. So now here you can say, if you want to, you know, if, if you add this two number, right? Then you will be getting this number. The same way if you are having a four step, right? Then we need to go, 3 and 2. This, If you add this 2 value, then you will be getting a 5. Right? So now, I will show you the formula. So how to write the formula for this? We can say this n minus 1. Right? So n minus 1. What is it? n minus 1. n minus 1 plus base of n minus 2. So here you need to understand one. First, for example, if I want to identify the fourth one, right? So now I can say four. Four equal to, I mean the four minus one, right? Four minus one is a three. What is the three value? Three value is a three. So I can say three plus n minus two. N is a four. Four minus two is a two. So two value is a two. So now we need to say, so this is what your answer, right? Base of n minus one plus base of n minus two is your 
step. Suppose if you are having an 8, right? If you want to go to the 8th step, this is the same way you can able to, right? So you can't go this way. What we have, we can able to achieve. If suppose if you are having a more steps, then you can able to achieve in this way, right? With this formula, okay? Let's write a program and we'll make understand that. So I'll create a method for that first. So let's create a method for, I'll create a static method. So this is going to return you the integer. I mean, how many uh, ways we can able to climb the stairs. So that's what is written type is an integer. Then we can say climb stairs. So this method is going to accepting the integer. That is steps. How many steps if you want to add, you can uh, pass the argument. Now, now first, uh, first point, like, you know, you can say if suppose if the n, n is uh, uh, less than equal to 1, then it is going to return you. This is going to return you the 1. Because if you are having a only 1 step, then it, you are going to return a only 1. So now, let's say, here we need to create an array. So create an array to store the number of ways to reach each step. So we can create an array first. Array of, can give any variable name, new, integer. Here you can pass for many, uh, you know, uh, argument, right? How many elements? So we can say n plus 1. Right? So now here, here we need to say the first value. First value we know that, right? I mean, uh, first one, or, I mean, if you are having a one step or if you are having a two step, we know that how many ways we can able to. So we can say dp of 1, right? If it is a 1, then we are going to say 1. So it's going to return 1. If suppose if it's a dp of 2, right, then we can say it is a going to return a 2, right? Now we have to go with that, you know, loop, for loop, right? Using a for loop, we can achieve that, you know, a number of steps, how many ways we can able to climb the steps. So I'll say for loop integer i equal to, let's say 3, right? So now why we have make it as a 3? Because already we have given a 1 and 2 here. So we are going to start from 3. So now here it's going to iterate i less than equal to n. Then i plus plus we are incrementing. So now inside that here we need to uh, pass our formula, right? We have we have a formula. So we can say dp of i, right? So what is that i? Is a currently it is a 3. So equal to dp of i minus 1, right? Then we have a plus dp of i minus 2. So now let us understand here. So now this first iteration, right? The value is a 3. So now 3 equal to so dp of i minus 2. What is that i minus 2? Actually 2. So 2 value is a 2, right? So it's going to return 2. So now plus dp of sorry, this is i i minus 2. So what is that i value? i value is a 3. 3 minus 2, 1. So 1 value is a 1. So now we are adding a 3 plus 1. It is going to return 3. Right? So this is what you need to understand. 2 plus 1 is a 3. So 3 value. I mean th if you are having a 3 step, then value is a 3. I mean 3 way you can able to climb your the steps. So now finally we can return the number of ways we can reach. Return dp of n. So we need to return. So here we can answer. Okay. So now we have done a method. Let us call this method in our main method. Okay. So first we can add steps. Steps equal to how many steps? So for example, if I am giving you five steps. Okay. So I just wanted to print the value. How many time it is going to? So I can say number of ways to climb. Okay. Here you can add a plus. Then you can add a. You can just call the method. Right. Climb. Stress. So here you need to pass the integer. So that is steps you need to pass. Okay, so now let's run this. We'll see how this is working.
the number of ways is 8. Okay, so the four time what we have seen, in the four we have seen like, you know, uh, five, right? So if you go to the five, then what is that value? Three plus five. I mean, if suppose if I'm asking a fifth one, I mean, if we are having a four step, how many ways we can able to climb five? So if this answer, maybe we can get it from the, this, I know, some of these two values, right? If you are having a five, right? Five steps, then you can add, if, if you are, you can get a value of adding these two values, right? So that is what if we are getting a eight. So we have a number of ways to climb. Steps is a eight. So we can give a six now. Okay. Now if you have a, given a six, right? For example, if you are given a six, what will happen? So now eight plus five. This, if you are adding these two numbers, you will be getting a 13 way you can able to climb. So let's see. Let's run this. See now 13. So this is the way we have to achieve this program. Right? I hope this is clear.